This is Joey Badass, and you tuned into the Kickback DMV. Keep it locked, peace and love, pro era, all the time. All the time. I'm Dami B. Frazier. You are tuned into the Kickback DMV. We're actually backstage, really outside of the back. We got locked out, you feel me? But I got this dude right here. You have to know this man. This is Trey Che, you feel me, from The Wire. Even after the fact, the brother is rapping. Yeah. How you feeling? You just got off stage. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm honored to be here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Peter Rosenberg, man. The whole the Paluzzi joint, you know, uh, Monster Energy. My homeboy Joey Badass opening up for him, it was an honor, you know? Definitely. Yeah, Howard Theater is like my, my home, you know what I'm saying? It's my city. I'm from Fullsville. I'm out here running around. So you was up in Fullsville yeah. Mall growing up? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I ain't see you. I was over there. I sure was. But no, like, actually, this is my first time hearing you rap. And right. if you haven't, you definitely have to check him out because he actually raps about substance. Yeah. All that mainstream, you feel me? I'm not gonna throw no shade to nobody because you know, at the <laughs> same time, listening to the car, it is a good, a good yeah. sound. But yeah, I like the, that you were able to yeah. open up for him because you guys have a similar vibe. They're very similar right. in terms of what you talk about and that kind right. of thing. Do you look at yourself as a conscious brother? Um, I guess, I mean, a lot of people try to put me in that category. I just, I just speak about my life. I speak about the real. And it just so happens to be positive. You know, um, if you notice on the stage, I didn't say one curse word. I, I don't really believe in, you know, saying a whole bunch of curse words, man. It's a bunch of kids out that joint. And um, I just, like you said, the substance of my music, I talk about my life. Even the party records, when I say, you know, throw your hands up, pour another drink, I'm, I'm doing it in moderation. So it's, it's all about uplifting, motivating. And it's dope enough for the fellas to rock with, you know, classy for the women, you know? No, I was vibing in the back. We said it, ladies. I was like, ah! <laughs> but no, what made you go it. that route? Because you can get on quick yeah. when you, you know, when rapping about the negative. typical things yeah. when you do the ne negative things. It's, so what um, made you go that route and stay? Well, I just wanted to be different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, I look at, I respect all rappers. I respect all MCs. Um, I listen to everybody. But when you think about, you know, your favorite artists like Kanye, Jay-Z, you know, even from J. Cole, Drake and all them, what made them who they were, they stay true themselves. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just, I can't get up there and speak about something that I'm not, you know, pro to or whatever. I just want to speak about the realness and, you know, having fun and, you yeah. know what I'm saying, definitely showing love to everybody. You know, respect, respect for the women, you know, big enough to fellas, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just want to show love. Okay, so if you know I'm from the DMV, I'm actually from D.C., so I oh, represent good, good. to the 100th power. Good. But it seems like everybody out here, they feel like they need to go to Atlanta, New yeah. York, Cali to make a name. Do you feel like that you have to do that in order to get out there? Could you make it big at your home? Well, you know what? I mean, I, I got a lot of connections in those cities, you know, Atlanta, L.A., New York, just from my acting background. And, and I stay out there a lot, you know, doing my thing. But as you can see, I'm right here in, like, my backyard. You know what I'm saying? How it's here to D.C., like, my backyard. And, I mean, just being out here and, and being able to run around with legends. Like like I said, I'm opening for Joey Badass, but I'm on tour with Big Daddy Kane. You know what I'm saying? I'm on tour with, I spot Dave with Rock Kim, Naughty by Nature, Belleville DeVoe, uh, Bobby Brown, Floyd. You check check my resume. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh, out here. Check the Bobby yeah, resume. So, um, you know, those, you don't those know, artists. They know. Those artists really embrace me for what I do. And, okay. um, so I'm able to travel outside all the time. But still, like I said, I'm right here. I'm hitting the stage. Any chance I would get a need to come through, I'm, I'm definitely rocking. Okay, definitely. Yeah. Well, I have to get you on my show. Okay. Because this is a nice <laughs> little interview right here. Yeah. But I promise you, it's nothing like you ever expected. When you come in there, you're not going to know what's going to happen. Oh, and good. It's definitely out of the box type thing. So. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you be on the lookout for him. But where you gonna be at? After this you did how with theater and you gonna be This gone? Thursday, I'm opening for DMX. July 28th. This Thursday, three days away. DMX, Howard Theater, y'all come through. Uh, then August 3rd and 4th. August 3rd, I'm in New York at the Knitting Factory, Brooklyn, with Big Daddy Kane. August 4th, I'm in Philly, you know what I'm saying, at the Underground Arts Center, Cultural Arts Center, with Big Daddy Kane. So I'm spot dating with him. And um, yeah, man, just moving, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so what advice would you give somebody that is in the same path as you and they trying to figure out, should I really be authentic and go with me? Or well, should my, my advice to you know to, to artists just doing that man just keep 
stay, stay true to yourself. That's the best way. They'll respect you more. Like I said, I got a lot of respect from all the artists in here that's performing tonight that didn't even know that I rap. But you know, when they heard it, they was like, man, I ain't know. It's like, you know, a shock value. So just stay true to yourself. Don't ever feel like you gotta do what another artist is doing. Exactly. Just, just be yourself, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you for the interview. No you are tuned into the Kickback DMV with your Diamond B. Frazier and Trey Chain. Yes, stay tuned. Thank you. Yo, what up? It's Peter Rosenberg, Hot 97, ESPN, and most importantly, from the DMV. I'm here right now in the DMV, the kickback DMV. You know where you are. You may be in Maryland. You may be in Virginia. You, you may be in the district. You may be somewhere else just watching because the internet is worldwide. Exactly. You can watch anything, but it's the kickback DMV. It is. Stay tuned.